Go live. Hello, chat. Hello. Hello, Sardinian YouTuber. Hello, Takeshi. Hello, Goose. What is up? Let's do some driving today. Let's do some freaking driving. Ping the Discord. 3,000 people pinged. Only about three will join. Are we ready to break the record in this fucking shite box? I don't know how fast it can go. I'm, I'm about 75% sure we can get it to 300. But uh, I'm not sure. Hello, way but good reason. I'm not going to try and pronounce any more names after that. Hello, Waffles. Mum van, yes, that is it. Mum needs to get a kiss of soccer practice ASAP. So we've got to break the speed record. You're watching this in the gym. Oh, dear. That is pretty sad, to be honest. Minivan faster than your Z4? Unfortunately, yes. Although, by the end of this, I don't think this will be a functional car or a functional minivan. At least my Z4 would have two seats, and this will probably have zero. 35 seconds. Less than that, mate. Less than that. Right. Where's my controller? Here it is. Hello, Wire. What is up? Open the sliding door so the, ki the kids can have air. I don't think uh, we're going to need to do that. <laughs> There's going to be no windows, no freaking doors, nothing. Hello, Drax. Swap a V8. We might have to do that. To be honest, this is uh, my first time driving a car. I'm not sure what mods you can do to it yet. But, uh, well, there's, there's going to be a V8, right? So, first order of business is to see how fast a stock one can go. You can see on the screen I've got a nice little text box. We're going to be putting the record in there, baby. 300 is the goal. Are we going to be able to do it? Let me know. 50 PSI turbo? Oh dear. Hopefully the engine uh, can survive that without uh, imploding. It is going to be everything but a van. That is correct. Hello, Loris. You're diving into coding for Beam MP. Oh my god. What, can you create like game modes on that then? Watching anime. Oh dear. Oh dear. Not anime. <laughs> Insert a 2JZ. Oh, if only that was possible. All right. Bone stock. What is the top speed? It's a slow start, but we're already up to 30. It's not slow. I thought it would be slower, but it's actually quite pokey. Up to 50. We're going to have to get rid of the manual or the automatic, I mean, and put a manual in. Sequential. That's what I need. 75. We're already at 5,000 RPM. 300, I have no idea. I have no idea. But it's going to be done. It didn't move the last time you tried this? Oh dear. Well, maybe you can give me some tips then, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Not a clue. By the way, is the map infinite? I hope it's infinite. Alright, I said the car was pokey earlier, but uh, it's really struggling now. Really struggling. Jesus, get, this game is so loud. There we go. I think I need to turn the tunes up as well. Can't bloody hear them. We're really struggling to get to 110, and we need triple this. Is it going to be possible? Thankfully, the car is pretty nice and aerodynamic. It could be worse. It is infinite. Is it going to be a video? Probably not of this, but there is going to be a beam video coming out soon. Which I'm really excited about. It's more of a, a passion project than a than a video optimized for the algorithm. Which is probably not going to do well, but I enjoy making it. Or I have so, I have, uh, I have enjoyed making it so far. Do a burnout? Is that going to make us faster? Alright, 112. Is that our limit? I haven't been watching. Are we hard to suck 112? Will we run out of fuel before we get to 113? That is the question. If I squished it... What, just make it a plank? Minivan plank? 
Then we don't have to worry about aerodynamics. So close to 300. Oh, we just clocked over to 113. We're getting there slowly but surely. Thank God someone said the map is infinite. Because it's going to take to infinity to get to 114 now. I can, I can already imagine. Does this, does this game have tire temps? I don't know if it... It must do, right? Yeah, 113. Are we hard stuck? Wait, let's go to external. Oh, that looks slow as hell. That looks slow as hell. Errors for people who lack horsepower. Can't argue with that logic, mate. Make an F1 minivan? <laughs> Ugh. Are there any mods out for this car yet? Like F1 parts or just stupid shit? Like a like a cardboard wing. That might be good. Alright, I think we're 113. That's it. That's all we're getting out of this. So triple that is what we've got to reach. Is it going to be doable? I'm not sure. I bloody hope it is though because if not this stream will be a massive waste of time. We can't lie in the thumb now. Right, 130. Oh shit. Right, current record zero 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 zero. Let's change that. 113. MPH. Boom. How do you like that text box? That is sick. All right. How do we stop? Oh, brake. Brake might help. And handbrake because it is automatic and it is stupid. Okay, what is the first mod? We need one single mod that is going to make a massive difference for the first one. I'm seeing weight reduction. Skinny tyres, I do have that in mind. Massive rears and skinny fronts. That might help. Oh no, it's front wheel drive. Opposite way then. Less friction. First mod. Bicycle wheels. Does it have bicycle wheels? What have we got? We could spare tyres a good one. That is weighing us down massively. Oh, what does that what does that number plate say? P L S L I K E L I K E. I bet that weren't cheap at the old DMV, was it? Weight reduction. Make it rear wheel drive. Strip it. Right, I'm seeing a lot of weight reduction, bros. A lot of weight reduction, bros. Right, what's the first thing that has to go in a in a weight reduction? I suppose it's the seats, right? Fucking hell. I need like a mix amp so I can control all the volumes easily. Right, here we go. Seats. All-wheel drive. Is all-wheel drive going to help our top speed though? That is the question. Personally, I don't think it will. Should I make... No, I'm not going to make a pole. That is too much. That is too much. The doors. Doors. Yep. Yeah. Wait, right, we're, we're definitely on weight reduction. We can't remove everything because then the stream's over. <laughs> we got to take it slow. Right, doors and seats. Right, we'll start with the doors. Doors, doors, doors. Here we go. Goodbye, son. Get out of here. Doors, more like anchors. If you know where that's from. Props to you, man. Props to you. Right. There we go. Oh, we should do the, the tailgate. Or the boot. As it's called in the civilized world. No! Now my number plate's gone. <laughs> There's no call to action on the like button anymore. Shit. Yeah, all wheel drive. It's not going to happen. Right. Let's test doors first. I don't want to take everything off at once, you know. You've got to stretch these things out on YouTube. you got to stretch it out. Right, predictions for top speed now. Are we going to break one, one, what was it? 113. Rear wheel drive. Uh, is that possible? Or is it only front and all? Tailgate and bumpers. All right, we're going to do some more weight reduction, bro, in a minute. I think there is a, quite a bit of a delay on the stream. <laughs> We've moved on. Okay, 113, we're already up to 106, 107, 
I think it is a tiny bit faster. The wind noise has definitely increased. Can you hear the difference? We might have just messed up the aerodynamics here. We might have. Oh, rolled out to 117. Friggin' hell. 118? Jeez. I didn't know doors would make that much of a difference. 120? 121? Here we go. Oh, this is going to be easy. We're going to get to 400. Let, not free. Rolled it up to 125. Remove lights. Yeah, we don't need lights where we're going. We are the light. We're moving at the speed of light, baby. Right, 125. Oh, yeah. External camera. Oh, that thing is moving. 126. I don't feel safe in here. Come on, we've got to break 130, right? Remove the wheels next. Good idea, mate. But those weigh a lot. Air up the tires to max PSI. Does that work? It doesn't have advanced enough air difference with the doors. Probably. Probably. Come on, we got to break 130. Come on. Just two more miles an hour. Or about 20 kilometers an hour. You can do it, son. Come on. Come on. Can we get rid of stuff while we're driving? Let's, let's empty the glove box. Let's get that two extra miles an hour. It looks like we are stuck one, two, eight. Should we do it on the drag strip? The drag strip is not long enough for this. We need about 10 miles to get up to the top speed at the moment. Alright, 128. That's it. Can we roll it yet? No, we can't roll it. It's not light enough to roll. 1, 2, friggin' 8. Just by removing doors up from 113. Should I, should I add it on the bottom like this? Yeah, why not? Why not? Alright, what is the next mod, people? What is the next friggin' mod? I'm seeing windshield, windows, and seats. I don't think you can do weight reduction on doors without removing them in this. Unless you, like, manually rip stuff off. But, no. No. Seats. Alright, I'm seeing seats. We're just picking one. We do have a lot of seats, and seats are bloody heavy. Right, where the hell are they? Interior. Third row, bench. Goodbye, sir. Second row, bench. Goodbye, sir. Passenger. Right, it's actually looking like a van now. We've basically just done it all straight away. That is the most bare the interior can get, I think. Right, let's do a friggin' burnout for tyre temps. I saw someone say that. To be fair, I don't think this thing can do a burnout. What's the clutch? No. Right, we're not doing a burnout. Fuck's sake. Predictions for the speed? Less fuel, yes. Less, less fuel we have to do. Remove the engine? <laughs> Ultimate weight reduction. It'll be so light the wind can just blow us along. Who needs engines, man? We're already up to 92. No idea what gear, because we're in a silly automatic, but... 100. I think this has got 30 more miles per hour in it. Then some. 128 is a record to beat. The wind noise is worse now. It, it sounds like there's more wind. 113, we passed the first record. 
You're predicting 141, Gerald. Oh, that's that's optimistic. That is optimistic. To be fair, those seats probably weighed a lot more than the doors did, so you might be right. But at some point, you're going to get diminishing returns, aren't you? So who knows? Who knows? Only the BMNG gods know. That is who. Put on a turbo? Yes, we're going to be doing that. Remove the bumpers. 135 from Sardinian YouTuber. Place your bets. 10 to 1 on 150. 136 from G Spins on track. I can remove the carpet. Okay, okay. Right, we're up to 127 and it's struggling. It is struggling. I don't know if it... How are we going slower? Surely. Oh no, it's clocking over. 128. 128. Oh, no problem, Beam. Appreciate it. Right, we've got a lot of 138s, 134s, 136s, 135s, 137s. Be honest, it is not looking possible. Because of the delay, I'm in the future, and it's not possible. It's not possible. Oh, no, 129. Maybe we will break 130. Exterior camera. Whoa! That does look fast, to be fair. Come on, change. There we go. Fly by. I would not want to be sitting in that right now. To be fair, the breeze would be quite nice. It is very toasty here today. I think it's like 29 degrees. Obviously, I can't have my back door open because, well, then everyone will hear me shouting at myself whilst playing Beam. But, uh, yeah. The breeze would be nice. I need to make it more aerodynamic. I d I'm not sure. Unless we put a body kit on. That might help. It might help. But 129, the, the seats didn't do much. Like I said, diminishing returns. We're only up to one mile per hour more. Remove the side mirrors. Shout me out. Shout out to Hayden Stones. Enjoy your shout out, mate. Gerald thinks removing the seats gave it extra traction. Or, or taking the seats out gave it less traction. I think he means. I don't know. 129, we are stuck. It's not looking good, boys. Starting at 113, then getting up to 128 after removing the doors. Gave me hope. But this has just absolutely destroyed that hope. 129. Please tell me if the, the text starts going off the screen. <laughs> I think it, I think we're going to get there. Right. I've been seeing bumpers, mirrors, uh, windshields. Okay. What needs to go first? We need to do something big. Not, not, not the windshield yet. Not the windshield yet. Okay. Bumper. Where the frick is the bumper? No, oh, that's a quarter panel. Okay, let's just type it in here. Rear bumper support. Goodbye, sir. Let's get rid of this little bit of plastic. This should help. Right, so we got about 5 kg savings after this. Less than that, to be honest. Oh, Lord. That kind of looks fire, though. If we get rid of this little skid plate, that would actually look, look sick. Racing seat, side mirrors. All right, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. What should we take off? I've been seeing a lot of side mirrors. Lights. We'll save the lights. Let's take off the mirrors. Predictions for speed. Is the car plastic? I think it's metal. The bumpers were plastic, though. Not very heavy at all. Same with the side mirrors, to be honest. God damn, look at this thing. What a sexy mother frigger. 
What a sexy mother frigger. Let's go. It is a sick front lip. One three one. Oh, chat's getting a bit pessimistic now. Before that was very optimistic. Right, I'm seeing one three one to one three four. I don't think we're going to get there, to be honest. I think we might crack one thirty. Jesus Christ! I hate how many camera camera things there are. All I use is about three. I don't need to flick through them all at once. Jeez! Look at that thing go, man. 180 from Drax. The front wing will probably snap under all the downforce it's going to be producing. I like those ricer, ricer lips. That, that if they were properly aero bits, they would just snap off. Van flyby. Oh shit, we're up to 135. I wasn't even looking. So, the plastic bumpers definitely helped. And the and the side mirrors. 136? Jesus. Is it just me or is the wind noise actually getting louder? 137? Oh, uh, chat was wrong, man. You're all wrong. You are all wrong. What did I say? 10 to 1. Give me your money. I think we're going to get 138, to be honest. Add NOS, we will be. We will be. One thing at a time. We gotta stretch this out over for about three hours. We can't do everything at once. One three seven. Uh, you said one three six, but it wasn't one three seven. The lip is bending. <laughs> is it? No, it isn't actually. Is it? It isn't actually. Yeah, if we could put a massive engine in the back there. That'd be sick. All right, 137 it is. Let's call it there. Just absolutely ruin those tyres. Flat spots galore. Okay. 137 MPH. Or about 700 kilometres. Okay. What is next? Lights, I think I've been seeing. I've been seeing a lot of lights. L lights. Where the freaking hell are they? Oh dear. Tail light. Oh, that's tailgate. Tail light. Lower fuel. Red. <laughs> you want me to change the colour to red? Everyone knows red is faster. It is true. It is true. <laughs> right, we'll take the glass out as well. We'll take the glass out. Water glass. Uh, what's it called? Windshield. Is that all the glass gone? Oh, we still got one. What the, I swear I just took these out. Oh. Is that glass? I, I can swear there's glass in there. All right. We're taking the glass and the headlights out. Predictions. Are we going to break 140? No front grill. Yeah, it's too late now. We're already driving. Take the wheel caps off. Wait, are these hub caps? I think they're, they're alloys, aren't they? We will we will get some lighter wheels on though. Red 
Red is faster. It is true. Jesus, Sardinian's going mad in the chat. No front grill. He really does not like this grill. 145, 142, 139, I'm seeing. Got a 139. 145. They all have camps. Oh. We're already up to 132. It's looking strong. That glass must have weighed a lot. Red go really, really. Oh, yeah, we, have, we need to do the Neow shot. Here we go. Epic. Epic. We're up to 138. 139. Come on. You can do it, Land Whale. Break 140. Epic. We're at red line now. I think next we're going to have to get the gearbox out and put a, a, a better one in. I think we're maxing this one out. Oh, not the gearbox, the friggin... Oh, we could put a gearbox in. For an engine, of course. Flyby. That's another one. Woo! Who am I kidding? That is slow. That does look slow. Transmission. Oh, 360 drift. Double 360. No, no, no. Holy shit. We've gone so far, I can't even... Oh, no, you can see it. That is grid map. Beam NG is flat. Not a conspiracy. Right, next. Right, we're, we're still getting body parts for suggestions. I was, I did want to change the transmission or the drivetrain or whatever you friggin' call it. Hood? All right. Is hood going to ruin our aerodynamics? That is the question. You need more carbon. I would be surprised if there's any carbon fiber part. Carbon fiber parts for this. Spare tire. All right. We'll take the spare tire off. Goodbye. We'll also take the hood and the grill off. Front fascia. Fascia. Hood. Or the bonnet. Cut hood. That got a scoop in it. Oh, shit. Good bolts. Okay. Right, we've got, got rid of the grill, spare tire, and the hood. That is all the suggestions we've had so far, I think. Other than engine stuff. And we are... How, how long are we into the stream? 29 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. I'm doing a good job of stretching this out. Seventy-five already. I really need like a timer to check the naught to sixty, but you know, too late now. So our daily YouTuber is going to be right back, everybody. <laughs> Do a rollback? You mean like put it in reverse and slam it into first? So you get wheel spin. I could do. Looking like a car EA would sell you. Interior package, DLC. $200. God damn EA. I shouldn't say that, actually. I am technically an EA partner for some reason. What am I doing with the cameraman? Right, 135. External. Meow. Use the smaller rings. Rings for what? 146 from Russian man. Or I assume Russian. It doesn't look like it's 
helped much. The hood, the spare tire. Oh no, Jesus, it has. Wait, why is the car slowing down for? Okay, that was weird. We're at 140. But why does the car keep slowing down? Are you seeing this? It gets up to 140, then it then it drops to 136. What the hell? Is that like a limiter on it? But everyone's seeing this, right? That is strange. I've never seen that before. Take off the brakes. To be fair, that's a good shout. It is a speed limiter. Jesus. Right, we're, we're actually getting limited now. Oh, we're going to have to take that off. We are going to have to take it off. What's that under? Elec electronics. 140. Before we hit the limiter. Limiter. Uh, how do you take this off, peeps? <laughs> uh, engine? ECU, maybe? We've only got a free speed in this bitch. We have, we have been driving a free speed. I didn't even know those existed. I, I swear to God, this thing doesn't have a limiter. Where is it? Interior? Dashboard? No. <laughs> I'm trying to find the limiter, man. Oh, stock ECU. Is this what we need? Adjustable race ECU. RPM limit. Better ECU. Okay. Take the stereo out. I think next we're just going to rip the entire dash out. RPM limit. We just crank it up to 7500. Fuck it. Oh! Shit, that doesn't sound healthy. Over rev damage. Valve train. Over. Fuck's sake. Right. <laughs> Let's put that back down. 6,000. Right, predictions. Are we going to beat 140? Of course we are. But by how much? How much? I'm predicting 143. That's a good number. Yeah, I do know I'm playing in windowed mode, but if I if I play in full screen, I need to tab out. It's gonna it's gonna be a whole thing, you know. I just can't be asked. Black bars are cinematic anyway. Black bars are cinematic. Does the front lip actually create downforce? I don't think it's a lip. I think it's a skid tray. Oh, 142 we're up. 143. There we go. Stay there. Oh, shit. My prediction was wrong. Yeah, we have pushed the limit of this engine now. We're redlining in third gear at 145. Gearbox next, I suppose. Wait, let's, I want to ramp it off this thing first. It is creating downforce. Does that, does that actually work in this game? Let us ask you put the bumper on with a the, with the glue stick. Wouldn't surprise me with Solidad. Bloody Solidad. Roof exhaust for better airflow. 
ground effect. We've got some big brain engineers in here right now. Here we go. Oh shit. Oh, it does have hubcaps on. You're right. Whoever said that. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Oh, there we go. Right. Transmission. Transmission. I think we're doing next. Because that is definitely lim limiting us. What are we feeling? What's the... F I suppose a race six speed is the fastest, no? Jato, imagine that. I'm surprised I didn't put make a Jato version of this. Those rockets would fit nicely in this uh, little compartment here. Oh shit, I forgot to change the number. What was it? 146? 146? I don't know if it was, but I feel I feel like that's a good number. Six speeds sequential. Is it gonna make us faster? Diesel five speed? Or is one four five was it? Thank you, Gerald. Right. Race six speed. Can we modify this? We're gonna make wanna make him really long, right? Oh shit. Ratios and, and maths. No. Longer final drive and max tire pressure. Where is the final drive? That's what I've been I thought this was the final drive, but obviously not. What higher number is shorter? Is that what I'm saying? Chat's too delayed for this man. The number has to go down. Alright, let's just fucking crank these down then. Make it look roughly the same, but at a lower value. There we go. <laughs> right. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> it sounds like we're going up about <laughs> a 45 degree gradient hill. High clutch temperature. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, it is, it is going to be fast, though. It's going to be fast. Oh, I can actually shift now. Thank the Lord. The engine is not going to handle this. <laughs> no way in hell. Oh, oh no. Should have stayed on automatic, man. I have to actually press a button. The engine sounds weird like this. It does sound weird. Change the diff to adjustable. Will do. We are going to change literally everything on this car. Because 300 is going to be a hard one to beat. Should we shift up? Oh my god. Third gear. 144 miles an hour. I think we just hit the limiter again. Was that us redlining? One four seven. Oh, we're definitely breaking one fifty. We just need a gust of wind from behind us to make us get there faster. See, it's going to take a long while. Bye bye. And now. Oh, that thing is moving. Bloody hell. Look at that. 155 we're at. We might get stuck here. It'll hit 160, you reckon? Let's see. 
I also want to see what happens if we just crank it down to first gear right now. I can't let the intrusive thoughts win. Remove the exhaust and lower the ride height. We'll do that next. 157, let's go. God, every time I stream, I get the itchiest nose. What is that about? Maybe I'm allergic to streaming. That might be it. Maybe it's because it's about 40 freaking degrees in here. 157 before I lose patience. Yeah, the patience has already uh, dwindled down, mate. That's why I'm just on the external camera right now. 157 not from 145 isn't bad. We, we need to upgrade the engine. Because we're maxing out in fourth. Right, shift down to first. Are you ready for this? Oh, I can't shift down. What the hell? Oh, no, there we go. Goddamn 1984 transmission, man. Won't let me shift down when I want to. All right. Ride height. Ride height. And exhaust. I have no idea why you want to do exhaust, but we'll do it. We'll do the exhaust. I, th I think the car is light enough as it is at the moment. Exhaust. Oh, we are going to be able to listen to the straight piped. Just sounds like a normal exhaust. <laughs> is this is this an inline four engine? Yeah. Right, right height. I've been seeing. Let's get the ground effect in effect, people. Oh shit. We're gonna need to get better suspension on this puppy. Front suspension. Uh, front struts. Let's do. Race coil overs, of course. We could do sway bar as... Is that going to help, sway bar? Fuck it. U who cares? Let's just whack it on. Right. Skid plate. It's been nice knowing you, mate. You look sick, but goodbye. Rear coil overs. Rally rear shocks. Don't have coil overs on the rear. Race. Did I just put rally on? Oh no. I'm actually going senile, I swear to god. Should we put an independent rear suspension on? Or is that not gonna make a difference? Good evening, mate. Hello, hello the shuffle from Germany. Sway bar is dead weight for straight line. I thought it would help acceleration maybe. Perhaps. But alright, let's just get rid of it. Jeez, this thing is looking slammed already. Right height. So we want a lower front front and a higher back, right? Get some rake. Ooh. That actually looks looks sick. Is camber gonna help on the rear? Camber on the rear? Less friction? It is front wheel drive. Oh my god. Offset. We can't put camber on and not have him fill, fill the arches. Upcaps. Oh shit. Can we actually take the hubcaps off or not? Or are they part of the wheel? Oh no, we can. Hubcaps, goodbye. Half a kilogram. Gone like that. Zero degrees camber, most contact patch. What, on the rear wheels as well? The non-driven wheels? Or just the fronts? Alright. Here we go. We've done a lot of mods there, to be fair. 
Oh, I forgot how slow the acceleration was. <laughs> we should have done more mods. Let's get a listen to the engine sound on the flyby. Doesn't sound bad. As it goes immediately past you, it sounds bad, but as it gets farther away, it kind of sounds like a, a Civic or something. What was the last speed record? My bad. Was it one 157? Is that what we're up to? Engine next, I reckon so. Engine next. What was the last speed record? One fifty-seven. Can I do this while it's driving? Are we going to hit anything? No, we're good. Oh, we're still accelerating even though I'm tabbed out. Excellent. One fifty-seven mph. I don't know if we're going to beat that, you know. Turbo to make acceleration worse. This thing is dying for a turbo, to be fair. Hello, Kizzle, Kaisel Play. Also, if you're watching, like the stream, man. We, we got 43 viewers at the moment, only 33 likes. Please, please like. Thank you. Changed it to 157. I'll put 157 on there, I think. Unless you can't even see it. Right, 160, man. Come on. Come on. Are we going to reach 160 before we hit something? That is the question. 159 now. 159. mad what a beer rake can do stiffer suspension i don't know what made the difference i don't know ebay turbo it might have been the camber to be fair that made the difference there is no contact there on the rear flyby Oh, we're not going to reach 160. We're not going to hit it. What we will hit is a ramp at 159, though. Here we go. Lord. Oh my god. That was anticlimactic. Jesus Christ. Alright. What is next? Rake makes acceleration faster. I'm not sure. I know it increases downforce. So probably, yeah. <laughs> Engine. We're onto the big boy stuff. Onto the big boy stuff. What are we putting in? Should we go straight for the 4.4 litre V8? Or are we staying, staying reasonable? V6? Although that's still a 3.3 litre V6. It's not a van anymore, you're right. You bet any power mods and this will crack 200. Oh, but we're definitely getting above 200, man. Right, fuck it. Let's put a V8 in. Oh. Right, that sounds beefy. 
Something tells me the economy tires aren't going to be able to keep up with this engine now. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing more V8s than V6s. God, this thing sounds sick. Wait, where the hell are we? Where's all the... Si oh, it's over there. Right, the last record was 159, was it not? 159 MPH. There we go. God damn. All right. I think it's broken. <laughs> what the hell is happening? What was it doing now then? Oh, we're just, we're fr we fried the clutch. That's it. <laughs> Come on, slow start. That is just, Okay. Yeah, the engine is... Look at that. That that does not want to stay in the car. Right, I think we need to change some drivetrainy bits to get this engine working. Uh, transmission. Oh, we've got an ultra-light flywheel. Brilliant. Transfer case. Where the fuck? Oh, transfer case. May need to retune it. Ah, I think. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I was, I was about to say, say something. I... <laughs> Adjustable race ECU. Let's go. Is that going to make a difference? No, we're still frying the clutch. Still frying the clutch. Right, let's let's just change everything, man. I don't know if we can change it to rear wheel drive with just this, can we? We need to change the rear axle then. Right, race diff. There we go. I think. Clutch overheating. High clutch temperature. Heavier flywheel. Oh, she'll be alright. Here we go. We're going to breeze past 159, man. Camera on the other side, yes. Fucking hell. There's too many little bits and bobs on the screen to move stuff. Here we go. 167. Every time I tap out, we miss the action. 170. We can break 175, I'm sure. Come on. The engine is not enjoying it. Should we shift up? No, not yet, not yet. At red line, we'll shift. Came back, came back from the beginning, what the hell? Yeah. I'm thinking the same thing. What the hell is this? What this is, is a land speed record breaking minivan. Or oh, it might be in a, in a few minutes. 200. <laughs> we, I don't know. If we shift up, it's a gamble. We could lose all our speed or we 
could shift into a higher gear and increase our speed. Let's see. Oh, she's purring now. There we go. 175. It's going to take a while, though. It's going to take a while. 180. Come on. We're going to hit this friggin... We need to redirect. Redirect. Come on. <laughs> Turn. Oh, no. I wonder how we have grip with that level of camber and this caliber of tire. Turn at this speed. Peak van performance, that's what I'm saying. One eighty. One hundred and eighty. We still have so much to change as well. We are for sure gonna break break two fifty. You serious? I'm actually an idiot sandwich. Alright, note to self, don't press left on the D-pad. Fuck's sake. Oh, we've broken it again. I think we fried the clutch. Do a burnout. All right, we'll do a rolling burnout or a rollback. Sorry, <laughs> the clutch isn't gonna like this. <laughs> oh no, the clutch is on fire. I think. All right, no more rolling burnouts or rollbacks or something. What am I drinking? Sparkling water with uh, summer fruits cordial in it. Come on. I don't think you can change your final drive. I think you can only change uh, individual gears. Slick tyres. It looks like a cheese wedge. Yeah, you are eating some weird cheese. What was the speed was we up to before? 180? Yeah, it was. I remember saying. 180! Did I remove the fenders? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I haven't. Bye. Ooh. Remove the driver's seat. You've already got a seat in real life. That is true. We are removing one piece at a time, though. Or ratted one piece at a time, because I've still got two hours to go on this stream. <laughs> I don't want to get there too fast. Hayden Stones is back, everyone. Shout out, Hayden Stones. Enjoy your second shout out, mate. Ah, uh, well, you see, new Western Grove. I myself am a BMW driver. So that's handy. I don't think there's any fighter jets in this game, though. No. Yeah, this isn't passing any regulations or scrutineering at the drag strip. Oh, shift up. I forgot. This engine is built like a brick shit house. Any other engine would have blew up. We were, we were redlining for a good few minutes there. the turn signal stick thing 
That is going to be a massive weight saving right there. Imagine sitting in the back of this thing going at this speed with no friggin' seat or seat belt. That would be a, a scary experience. 181. Whoa! Oh, we're breaking 182. That's what it stands for. The more you know. Can you remove floor mats? Yes. Yeah, we are going to remove the fuel. Yeah, we're, we're not getting to 182, are we? God, those tyres would be absolutely messed up. Absolutely messed up. Right, mod. What are we saying? I am seeing, remove floor mats. Okay, we'll remove the floor mats. <laughs> Interior. Stripped. Yes. More yellow. Remove the seat and wheel. We need those, come on. I don't want to totally break my immersion. And a flashlight under the car. Speed of light. Good logic. Remove, change record. What was it? 181? Thank you. Whoever said that. I'm acting like I can't read the chat because it's going so fast. But who said, who actually said that? Thank you, Dragos. Dragos Andre. Andre. What else can we fucking remove? Quarter panels? We've got to start removing some good stuff because, uh, well, a lot of stuff at once. It's just taking so long to get up to top speed. There we go. Get rid of the body trim. Hayden Stones, you're going horse racing. What, are you riding the horse yourself? That is scary, man. Stripped headliner. Let's get rid of the headliner. There we go. Just a chassis and a dash now. Red. Oh yeah, we do need to change the car to red. Everybody knows. Everybody knows red is faster. There we go. Plus ten horsepower. Put a livery as well. Okay. Is the livery going to add weight though? It might add weight. There we go. No. Please. Grunt Racing. What the hell? These deliveries are shit, man. Probably because I can't see half of them, but you know. Race driver seat. Okay, we'll add one of those. Interior. Front left race seat. Base. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what next? Overinflating the tyres. Will do. Oh, we're just cranking them up to 100%. Tire pressure. There we go. Whoever that guy is, it tells me to turn the tire pressure up to max every stream. There you go, sir. Finally done it. Remove roof. Roof, roof, roof. Moon roof. Okay. Empty. There we go. I don't know about the structure, structural rigidity anymore, but... Wait, what the fuck? We found the glitch. Look. You can see through it. Whoa. Whoa. If any BMNG devs are watching, you best, you best pay me for finding that. 
What else are we removing? Oh, remove brakes. Okay. Brakes. Empty. Oh, it has drum brakes. What the fuck? Disgusting. Right. Are we going to beat 181 like this? We, we should probably change the gearing as well. I don't feel like spending five minutes getting up to 180. Let's just crank them up a tiny amount. There we go. Moonroof is heavier, yes, but we have removed the glass. On only on one side though. Oh, there we go. Bit of drama. That's what I like to see. How am I going to stop? I'll just violently turn the car from left to right. Remove the tyres. Remove steering. Oh no. It's just going to be a chassis and an engine by the end of it. pulling to be fair the red definitely helped One seventy, fifth gear can we get 11 more miles per hour out of sixth you do stop by crashing that is also a good option come on 11 11 miles per hour Oh yeah, we're smashing 181. Can you remove the body? Like the like the fenders? No, I don't think so. This is as bare as the body can get. There we go. It's fluctuating a lot. Somehow we're going from 182 to 180 instantly. Over and over. I think our speedo's broken. Remove some gas. Yes, I forgot to do that. The engine is too heavy. What engine should I use instead? <laughs> Downforce dash. Right, I think we're topping out 183. Right, let's try and slow this thing down now with no brakes. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. That's how you stop a car without brakes. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. Brakes are just a waste of money, man. Now let's drive it in circles till it stops. There we go. Lighter engine. All right, what engine are we putting in? Oh, oh no, the handbrake doesn't work. I'm an idiot. <laughs> right, what was that? 183? We're getting diminishing returns now for sure. Right, engine. What are we banging in here? 3.3 litre V6? Come on, chat. Maybe I will make a poll for this one. Let's start a poll. Engine. 3.8. I can't be able to type all this in. Litre V6. 3.3 litre V6. 2.5. I4. 2.2. I4. There we go. Ask my community. And while you're taking part in that poll, please like the stream. Please like it. Thank you. Thank you. We are upgrading the engine. Oh, no. 
Because apparently it's too heavy. Apparently the engine is too heavy. So I think the idea is put a lighter one in, then tune it. Right, 3.8 litre V6 is winning by far. 50% of the votes for, for the 3.8 litre. Let's go. Let's get a listen to it first. Ah, oh, sounds like a hair, a hair dryer in comparison. All right. I think we should test the speed of this first, to be fair. Just so, so we know where the benchmark is, you know? <laughs> yeah, this thing is not getting up to 180. No chance. I think it's a balance between uh, like performance and weight. It's like a sweet spot. I think the V8 might have been a bit too heavy, being that sweet spot. engine. Right, 160 on this engine. That, that is what we're getting. And I forgot we don't have brakes. 160. Right, let's tune the fuck out of it. Stock, heavy duty long block. Race ECU. We don't need an engine cover. Do we need heavy duty engine mounts? I don't think so. Exhaust exhaust stacks, is that lighter? Yes. Oh, listen to it now. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, are we going supercharger? Supercharger. Right, let's fuck it. Stage two supercharger. It is in race oil pan. Uh, t t fucking radiator. That's just gonna. That's just gonna add more weight, surely. Yeah, that is bigger. The radiator is indeed bigger. More weight. Nitrous oxide system, we're going to need more of that. That won't help the top speed though, will it? NOS? I'm not sure. Fuck it, we'll try it. Transmission. You still need to make it rear wheel drive if that is possible. Alright. We've got a supercharged 3.8 litre V6. Two NOS bottles. Empty radiator. Remove radiator. Okay, we'll remove the radiator. Don't think it's a good idea. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a, a mechanic kind of guy. I'm, I'm a driver, man. I drive. So I'm not going to argue. <laughs> oh no, it looks wrong. That does look wrong. God. Look at the flames coming out of that. It looks like an AK-47. Here we go. It does sound mint, to be fair. I think we need to lengthen out the gears again. But up upgrade our clutch first, of course. We don't want to be frying it again. Remove horn. Oh no, the engine temps are rising. The engine oil light thing is on. <laughs> I don't think removing the radio was a good idea. 183 to beat. We're going to do it. I saw 184. 185, I'm seeing. 
why is there smoke? Where is that smoke coming from? Oh, that's from our exhaust. That's good. Looks like a bloody diesel. 187? 189, I saw. More rev limit. Oh, we're losing power, actually. I think. Yeah, we're losing power. Why is that happening then? Is our engine overheating? Yeah, we've lost it. I think we do need a radiator, to be fair, boys. Has the engine just seized? <laughs> oh no! The engine is seized up. Yeah, the wheels aren't spinning. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, lesson learned. Run a radiator. Run a radiator. Radiator, here we go. Ultra high performance, that is what we need. There we go. Right, what what was the other suggestion? Uh wall rev limit, okay. My nose is so fucking itchy, man. It's actually pissing me off. Got the goddamn allergies. Uh what was we doing again? More rev limits. Here we go. Seven, uh, let's put it to 7,000 to be safe. 1,000 more RPM. Oh, fuel. I have been forgetting to do that. Let's crank that down to 20 litres. Upgrade clutch. Remove horn. Whoever keeps saying remove horn, I'm going to do it for you. Here we go. <laughs> the horn is being removed. Bam. Look at that. So much lighter now. <laughs> it's okay to run without a radiator in drag racing. Yeah. But if drag racers took about 10 miles to get up to top speed, it would not be okay. Oh. Why does that sound so much better now? Update record. What did we get to? Was it one one eight seven? There we go. One eight five. This thing does sound the tit, so B to activate NOS. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, do I have to hold it? Oh lord. NOS does help. NOS does definitely help. I thought the NOS uh, was activated on its own. Bloody hell. 220 we're at now. Whoever said that, thank you. 220, 230. There we go. We're up there, boys. Two thirty-five looks like it's the limit. I saw two three seven. Over rev damage. Oh, we we are so getting three hundred miles per hour. We are doing it, and now we're losing power. Gearing. Yes, sir. Uh, we are going to change the gearing. I wish we could add more NOS now. What does that NOS bottle say? 
that say lol? Okay. I did not know we wasn't activating the NOS. That was a proper fast and furious moment. <laughs> Kicked in like a bloody a mule. Come on. Right, we reached 239, I think. That is a big old jump. The biggest jump so far because of the NOS. 185 to 239. What is next? Tuning. Should we make the gears longer? I reckon. Let's crank those back down. There we go. Lovely. Uh, Kia Sarin, please read the, the read if need help channel. That is why it's there. You're, you're not getting vote kicked. It's, it's, uh, you need, you need, uh, um, an app to join. What's next? Stage two block. We've already got a block on. Wait, should we change to real? Oh no, we can't. Rear wheel drive. Let's change to that. Does this work? I have a feeling it doesn't. No. I think we need to change the... This, maybe? No. How the hell do I make this rear wheel drive? Rear diff, here we are. Welded diff, race limited slip diff. Still not working. What is missing? Front diff, that is what it is. No. Empty. Uh, I have to put a shaft in. Where is the big old shafts? I've got a shaft in. Rear half shafts? Yeah, look, the shafts are in. Now what? I'm stumped. Checked in neutral. You can't change gear when you're in the menu. Okay. Oh my god, look at that wheel bounce. <laughs> Maybe rear wheel drive is a bad idea. Jesus. At least our rear tyres are warmed up now, eh? It's hard to watch. Okay, Nicholas. Bloody hell. I didn't know you couldn't shift up in the menu. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, we've got to do the NOS as well. Shit. It wants to wheel spin at 130 miles per hour. We definitely need better tyres, eh? Let's just crank it up to sixth and NOS. I think we just blew up the engine. Yeah, it's not turning back on. Favourite law friendly mod? Uh, whatever the Z3 one is. You know the one I'm talking about? A little convertible. I'm all about the law though. I don't like uh, real world brands in this game. Add a rear wing for more traction. Could do. Yeah, this van is a beast to be fair. I'm barely even pressing the throttle. When should we activate the NOS? Yeah, I 
owner, own a Z4. But the one in game is definitely based on a Z3, I think. Maybe it's based, based on both. Nos. Woo! Here we go. 200, easy. In fourth gear. What's the speed limit? Uh, speed record already? 239. Oh, we're smashing that, man. We've just changed it from front wheel drive potatoes. I don't think it will make that much of a difference, though, surely. It might make the weight distribution a little bit better, but... Shift up. Oh, yeah, we are smashing 239. Oh, shit! The engine blew up again. Right, how do we stop the engine blowing up? I think we've already got all the, 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 the big boy parts on it, haven't we? Yeah. Did the exhaust make a difference? Do we need the back pressure? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. Make gear shorter. Weld rear diff. I think the rear diff is limited slip. Maybe we need lower RPMs to stop the engine from blowing up. Oh. Tires. That is what we need to change. Tires. Well, we got a bias ply. No, we are not putting ply tires on. Buzzy hell. There we go. We got some slicks. <clears throat> oh, we could make the, the front wheels really skinny. Really small. Should we do that? Is that a good idea? I'm not sure. There we go. Let's make the rear ones beef. Beef cakes. God damn. I don't think that's a good idea. Is there not like drag drag tires on this? I'm I'm making more power than it can handle, okay. There's no way to fix that, is there? Oh those have got to have fucking drag tires, surely. No. Let's just put the fucking slicks on it then. Oh, yes. What a machine. What a machine. Yeah, drag radials. Is there, is there drag wheels that I need to put on? I'm not seeing drag radials. Hello, Alex Noyce. Get a rim where the second number is highest. Okay. Does that exist? We're going to have to go really small. No, that does not exist. Oh, yeah, it does. Um, no, I'm, I'm just fucking stupid. That's what's going on here. Right, this is good enough. Surely. The wheel bounce is still nuts, though. I don't think we can put a different block on it. All the draggers make sense. I'll try and put those on. God, that, 
but the engine is not enjoying this. We'll try the M. Um, we'll try the V8 again, Nicholas. Shit! I don't know what I just did. There we go. Losing power again. All the all the draggers. Let's put those on first. All the no, I'm not finding them. Got it. Try a welded rear. We've got a we've got a limited slip diff in, mate. We don't need no welded shit. Right, V8. Here we go. Ultra heavy duty long block. Do we need the ultra heavy duty or the uh, the stage three performance? Those we're putting stage three in. Ultra duty heavy engine mounts. No exhaust. Exhaust stacks. Stage three supercharger. Brace oil pan. We're just kitting this baby out. Here we go. NOS system. We've got to try and find these older draggers. Older. Older dragger. I saw it. There we go. Finally, we're there. Where's the drag radials? Drag rear tires. We've done it. Yes. So, V8 with supercharged it. Kiesel. Kaisel. Supercharged V8, drag radials. Are we going to break 239? These handle worse than the other ones we had, I think. Fuck's sake. There's bigger ones? We definitely need those. This thing wants to wheel spin at 160 miles per hour. Bloody hell. This thing is quick. Stupidly quick. We need to stretch these gears out. Moss. Oh, shit. What speed was we even at there? It's still blowing up. It's still blowing up. Is that the limit? Surely not. Look at this thing. Will I adjust tyre pressures? Uh, do they reset every time you change the tyre? Because if they do, then no. Spin at 200 miles per hour is nuts. Fuck's sake. How do I stop this engine blowing up, peeps? How do I do it? Right, tyre pressure. Oh no, the tyre pressures are maxed out. If you want to find a thick wheel, scroll all the way up, then a little bit down. Okay, I will scroll all the way up and then a little bit down. <laughs> uh. 
all the way up a little bit down here we go what am i looking for older power pusher rear wheels that sounds promising oh these are going to be the big boys aren't they these are going to be the no they're not the big boys That is the opposite of what we wanted. How? No, we've already tried these, haven't we? Royale. Oh. Are these the ones we just add on or not? No. Those are the big boys. Here we go. Is it heavy duty? Let's see. So we have ultra heavy duty engine mounts, stage three performance long block. Do we need heavy duty? I'm guessing we do. Are we going to be able to break, break 240 miles per hour now? Lower RPM? Perhaps. Let's see. <laughs> Look at this swing, man. Fly by. Oh, 220. Oh, we're going to smash it, surely. We are going to smash this record. No, we're losing power again. Why? Any ideas why we're losing power? Lower fuel, I saw someone say. Let's lower it again. Rev limit are too high. We crank it back down to 6k. There we go. Let's go. 240 is the time to beat. Or the speed to beat, even. Do we need to arm the, the nitrous or does it do it automatically? There we go. This is the one I can feel it. I think we might actually run out of fuel now. I can actually see it going down. 250, bloody Nora. We are so close to 300. Come on. What the hell could we possibly do to this car next? Two seventy. Uh, we're losing power again. Oh, fuck it. Let's just ramp it off this. Oh, yeah. It does float in the air, doesn't it? Put more NOS in. Well, I need adjustable NOS. You know, we're gonna have more than double the NOS, in other words, or a single NOS hit. Double the NOS hit. Added power, 500. That is definitely gonna blow up the engine. It will blow up. 
I'm thinking we need to do more weight reduction still. We're maxing out the engine. So, dashboard. We can't take the dashboard out. Fuck. Let's get rid of all this shite. Radio, who needs that? Steering wheel, goodbye. We are stuck with a dash in though. See? Out. I think that is literally stripped. Moonroof? No. Oh, we can take the fenders off. Is that it? I think we can put a fuel cell in, can't we? Where the hell is that? Fuel cell. Is this going to be lighter? It must be, right? Empty fuel tank. There we go. In its final form. I don't think we can take the back corner corner panels. The stacks. Right, fuck it. We're going hardcore in this in this biz hatch. Even the exhaust stacks are going. No, we can't take those off. No, uh, we can't take we can't add PSI to the tires, they're already on max. Diddy bibby bibby. Here we go. The quarter panels can come off. Shit, we don't have brakes. Here we go. Water. Ah, uh, look, they can't come off. Steady does it. We don't want to start wheel spinning at 150 miles per hour. Adish turbocharger. It is supercharged, El Chavo. We ain't need no turbos. Probably already pushing about a thousand horsepower. Plus NOS. Speaking of which, NOS is armed. Here we go. Engaging hyperdrive. 260. We've already smashed our own records. 270. Can we get 300 before the engine blows? No. <laughs> it's gone. We reached 280 though. We are getting very, very close indeed. 280. If anyone's got any tips on how to get that extra 20, let me know. I forgot to update this this little record thing a lot. There we go. Question: Will you use this van to race in a circuit in the future with other cars? Probably not. Seeing as it doesn't have brakes. Or it can't actually turn very well. Uh, no, I don't think this is suited to circuit racing. Get the rear down. Remove suspension. <laughs> Can you actually do that? If we just remove like a spring. So you're saying if we get rid of the rake, it'll move faster? I suppose it's worth a try. How the hell do you do that? There we are. Spring height. Am I blind or what? Where's the, where's the rear spring height? Okay. We've got no rear spring height, apparently. Uh, I'm pretty sure all-wheel drive would be slower in a straight line. Oh, we've got to put a, a race, race suspension on the rear, that's why. Get rid of the sway bar, we don't need that. Spindles. What the fuck? It, what the hell is a transverse leaf spring? Honestly, who came up with that name? Here we go. Front, rear, let's slam this baby. Oh Lord. There we go.
Yeah, we've already got max tire pressure. 50 PSI. <laughs> it squats. Look at the camber under acceleration there. That is nutty. I should probably stop banging it off red line. Maybe if we use a NOS early, it won't be as damaging. I'm not sure. You can't put coilovers on the rear kizzle, I don't think. Oh yeah, that is true. I did max out the camber because it used to be uh, front wheel drive. I'm not sure if that will if, if that'll help our top speed though. We'll have to see. Yeah. Our top speed is actually worse now. We didn't even reach 280. Okay. Uh, camber. Let's put 0% camber on the rear. And 100% on the fronts. Good shout, whoever that was. Was that uh, El Chavo? Yes, there we go. I have a sock as a pop filter. Yes, that is correct. Hello, butter dog. Yes, what the hell? The once yellow minivan has now become a, a red devil. I've got 283. Okay. Make first, second gears shorter. Short. Sure. Really? How short are we talking? That short? Whoever thought this was a whoever thought I was gonna drive this on a circuit, you must be nuts. Change gravity, that might be cheating, but it could be possible. What gearbox? I'm not sure. It's probably the six speed sequential. Yeah, we're already losing power. Yeah, but I mean, changing the, the way in which we measure speed now would make it more inaccurate. All those speeds on the screen there are, are done with this little app. I, I'm lost. What more could we possibly move, remove or add? Let's try less fuel, I suppose. Six litres. Oh, who needs ABS? We don't even have brakes. Why have we got ABS <laughs> on the car? Okay. Radiator, radiator support. This better be worth the extra 20 miles per hour. Oh, no. We can't remove those. Come on, there's got to be something we can get rid of. We have the smallest front tyres. Front wheels. Maybe if we change these to low rolling resistance front tires. Yes, please. That's exactly what we need. Try putting a stage two supercharger. More durable, you say? Let's see. Worth a try. I'll do anything to reach 300. Remove the car paint. Oh, Lord. This is an angry car. I'm 
Nos. God. It pulls at 180 miles per hour. Come on. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. <laughs> we lost power again. We lost power again. You're saying no NOS. Right, we won't. We'll, we'll take the NOS off momentarily. That might be destroying the engine. Again, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I just shift earlier. I did just do that. I'll try it even earlier. Let's go up to fourth. Instantly. Right, third. We haven't done a flyby in a while. Meow. Painting it rev, give it extra five miles per hour? Yes, indeed. Red definitely helped. Come on. Shift up. It looks so goofy. I think I was using stage three. Then I uh, I turned it to heavy duty because the engine kept blowing up. Rocking back and forth. Yeah. If only we had a seat to rock in or a steering wheel to hold. stuck 243 like this we're definitely going to need that NOS back oh. maybe we was using too much NOS because I did put it up to 500 maybe, a, a, maybe we'll go back to 200 kilowatt shot size is that what it is? KWH kilowatt? Try putting a 27 litre V12. If only I could. This stream would have been over a lot sooner. Alright, I'm going to do it. Keep the throttle at about 60% until two, 260. And someone else said activate NOS at 240. So we're going to combine those tips. And hopefully it works. I can tune the ECU, yes. But uh, I don't think there's much else I can change. I'm kind of already maxing it out. Pointed directly at something over in the distance there. We should probably steer. There we go. Damn it. This is taking so long. <laughs> Just let me get to 260 so I'll go full for it all. Add VTEC, yes. Let's 
tailgate and windshield back on. I'm not sure if aerodynamics actually work in this game, although I could be wrong. That's a good ad of, on why you shouldn't text and drive. I was totally distracted. Error is basic, but it should affect it. Let's see. minor. I did run out of room. I'm gonna point the car very far away from that crap in the distance now. There we go. RPM seems a bit high. Shift up. Here we go. Nos at 240, I think that guy said. Come on. Come on, Lansdale. You can do it. Right, sod it. Activate Nos. Shit, we've run out of fuel. <laughs> Which mother frigger told me to put less, less fuel in? Which mother frigger did it? Right, let's put in 15. Right, you're saying 6,400 RPMs. 6,400 RPMs. Here we go. Let's see if this works a bit better. I'm going to keep it low revs until we get up to a decent speed. I don't want to trash the engine before we've even reached uh, 200. Here we go. idea. Didn't do anything. Oh, come on, this is it, surely. <laughs> it is shifting. Oh, we're losing power again. Looks like we're maxed out at 208 miles per hour. I don't think we're going to be able to get higher. Ooh. Lovely. Any more ideas? Any at all, I'll take them.
I'll freaking take them. Stage 3 performance long block? You can set your NOS to 400. Yeah, but it's destroying the engine. 500. Let's try 400. Wait, where's it even gone? Ah, oh, I need to put variable shit in. Adjustable, there we go. 400 kilowatts of NOS. Don't mind if I do. Where's he gone? There we go. No, oh, that's fucking RPM, man. 400. Bang. Right, we're, we're getting loads of people saying windshields. So we'll put in a windshield. I, I am not convinced it will make an ounce of difference. Shit, in hours. It's getting a bit dark. How long have I been streaming, man? Let me put some lights on. Yes, I can turn my lights on from my desk. Look at this. Wow. I, I don't think that made a difference on, on the camera. Okay, 400 kilowatts of NOS. Oh, yeah. We're not going to redline it. At all. We're going to be nice and smooth. A shift at 4,000 RPM. Oh, I forgot about the... Oh, no, I added the windshield. Yeah, there we go. Cut the top of the car off would probably uh, do it. Oh shit, we're heading right for that stuff again. doing it people well you're doing it because you've told me everything i should do no we're losing power again 280 we're hard stuck 280 man i saw someone say a uh a stage three performance long block is it going to perform better than the heavy duty we're already losing our engine Mr. Burb, if I use the airspeed widget now, all of our other testing is uh, inaccurate. We will rely on miles per hour. Unless it's just bugging out. And it's not actually... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, shit. Steadily does it. That's the advice I'm receiving. Steadily does it. Come on. We've got to do it. Should have probably put cruise control in this thing. Nobody saw that. Come on. Can we actually get past 280, please? Thank you. Here we go. Five. Four. We broke 280. This is good. This is good. Fly by. Oh! <laughs> oh shit, we're gonna hit this thing. Turn. 280 mile per hour turn. We saw it here first. Come on, climb back up.
I got too hasty on the throttle, man. We could have done it. We could have done it. We, we was almost there. We hit 286, did we? Shit, let me change this. I've been forgetting. 286 miles per hour. Hundred eighty five Freedom Eagles. So close. So close. This is it. I'm not going to move my finger on the trigger. We're staying at this level of throttle until we get to 300. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. New records. 287. 290. Come on. Eight miles per hour to go. Steadily does it. I don't want to get too hasty now. Two, wait, 295. Come on, just five more. Barely getting to 296 though. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit more throttle on. Tiny amount. 297, there we go. My finger's starting to cramp, I think. Come on, we've almost done it! We've almost done it! Two miles per hour. Oh! How are we losing speed now? This is taking a piss. 299. 300. We actually did it. Bugatti who? That's exactly what I'm saying, mate. Who the hell are Bugatti? All you need is a, a minivan in about two hours of your time. And a heck of a lot of money to build this engine. 300 miles per hour. We have done it. Let's see how, how fast we can actually go now. 302. 303. Epic moment. You do have to stand up while you're driving, Wyatt, or kneeling down, I suppose is better. You can only drive in a straight line too, because you don't have a steering wheel. And you can't slow down because you don't have brakes. But at least you can go 306 miles per hour. That's what it's all about. Now that you're the same with the truck, I cannot do this again. I cannot do this again, but here we go. Come and reach 310 for our engine cooks all our oil. The engine died. The engine has died. Oh, we run out of fuel. <laughs> there we go. Throw a brick on the throttle. If we, if, if, if we went to full throttle, the engine would have blown up instantly. There we go. What a machine, man. What a beauty. We forgot to do a flyby at 300, but that's okay. Change the gravity levels. Throw it in reverse. I don't think that's possible. Right. 300 and something is our new record. People have been saying change the gravity level for the entire stream. So let's change the gravity. What gravity should we try first? At 300 miles per hour. I really want to try like Saturn. Or Jupiter. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't tell from inside the car. Luckily, our driver has good mile per hour feel. Right, let's try a fucking Jupiter. What's that? 24 times grav uh, Earth gravity? Oh, there's so much grip. So much grip. Shit. <laughs> yeah, we're 
on Jupiter. Three hundred and twenty miles per hour on Jupiter. Let's see if it's possible. Oh, we can do the flyby now at three hundred. AC should have a gravity slider for real. I wish it had more tools like that. That that would make making videos on it so much easier. Or allow you to do more video ideas. Like Beam. Beam's really good for making videos. Are we going to hit something again? Oh dear. Turn. Sun gravity next, okay. Shit. Blow up the engine. Two times down for to real. Yes, that would be a great video. If my subscribers clicked on F1 content. <laughs> or beam content for that matter. Can't you make it colder? I wish man, I'm baking. Too hot. reach 300 on bloody Jupiter. Surely the, the downforce helps, or the gravity, should I say. The natural downforce. Smaller wheels. It's, it's a proven car, mate. We've already done 300. Moon. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's the land speed record on the moon? Or the moon speed record? Sure as hell, not going to be above 100, is it? Oh no, Nicholas has beat our record. By two miles per hour. Have you heard that song? Uh, <laughs> I can't get no traction. That's what I feel like right now. Go on a ramp. It's going to take a while to get there on moon gravity, but we'll hit one. With moon gravity. We're going to reorbit back back to Earth. Reorbit? I don't know why I said that. Here we go. Oh no, we're sliding. First moon drift. Yeah, it's just wheel spin. Low rolling resistance on front and back. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Like you see all these top top uh, top speed cars, like the rocket ones. They've they've got tiny wheels on the front and back. But in the end, it didn't make much difference. Two miles per hour of difference. I'm okay with that. At least we've got the big free free zero zero. Try this car on a tow gate, no way in hell. Absolutely no way. Right. Ready for ready for liftoff in about 30 seconds. 
bloody hell, we're going 220 on the moon. I have a feeling we can get 300 on moon gravity. But first, it's time to leave this planet. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect send off for this car. Exactly what it deserves. Being launched into the universe, never to be seen again. And I'm okay with that, man. I don't want to see this thing ever again. Now I've got to make a YouTube video on this car, so I'm going to be going to be seeing it quite a lot. But you know, oh, I would not want to do this on a wheel, man. My back would be killing, so I'd have to reach over my wheel so much to touch my keyboard and mouse. There we go. That was it. The 300 miles per hour minivan. I think we're going to leave it there. I think we're going to leave it there for now. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, there will be a BeamNG video out, coming out soon. It won't be this. It'll be something different, but hopefully you all enjoy it. Actually, I usually do sneak previews on the, on the end of my stream, so I guess we'll do that first. Sneak preview of the video nobody cares about. We're going to do it. Just open Premiere Pro. Open Premiere Pro. Successful stream, I'd say. I think, I think we had about 60 concurrent viewers. That's our peak. Better than the late night ones. The late night ones are very low in, in, in viewership. Right, what part should we show? What part should we show? Okay. Alright, we'll, we'll just show this bit. Why not? Here we go. Sp game capture, display capture, sneak peek on my BeamNG video. It is very loud. You've been warned. You should do some toge battles on Beam. Ah. Uh, uh, it's so gay. I mean, uh, 309. Congratulations, Nicholas. Hello, Ultra. Uh, we wasn't doing anything, mate. Nothing at all. Now we got 300 miles per hour in a minivan. That is what exactly what we did, but it's over now. You can go back and watch the VOD. There will be a VOD up. Average FNF song, mate. That's Ace of Spades. By Motorhead, I think. Yeah, definitely Motorhead. You should do Beam MP event. Oh no! If I, I to be honest, streaming on a wheel is that is an absolute pain in the ass, especially when you try to read chat, read chat and drive at the same time. I don't know how the likes of Jimmy Broadbent and all that do it. Don't know how they do it. It's a mystery. Full res playback in Premiere. Yeah. I mean, the secret to that is basically putting everything on separate SSDs. So your clips on one SSD, Premiere itself on another SSD, and your media cache on a third. That's how you get it to run good. Grip feels wrong in Beam. It does, to be fair. I mean, it's okay on Dirt, I think. Do a video to find out which F1 is faster on Toge. Uh, let's be honest, nobody is watching that, mate. It, it's a decent idea, but none of my subscribers are clicking on that. <laughs> Have I tried the Flood Escape map? Yes. I was supposed to be making a video on it, but I kind of gave up, like with most of my video ideas. I just kind of uh, get bored of them and leave them to rot in my videos, videos folder. You can see all the purple ones are videos that have been abandoned. <laughs> Green are completed. Red. Red are abandoned too, to be fair. There's a fun now. I think I whipped that up in about five minutes. I think that's pretty good for five minutes. Wheel, the wheel, <laughs> wheel motion blur is a bit dodgy, but not bad. Yes, mate, 
Oh no, you just saw the, the title of the video, Mr. Burp. Yes. I did take some inspiration from some real uh, car adverts for this video. Anyway, that was 300 mile per hour minivan. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, let me save a replay for a thumbnail. If I do decide to make a video on this, I'm not saying I will, but I might. It's always better to be prepared. Thumbnail. There we go. Thumbnail. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Do a, make, do a video on making your own toe gate. I am not skilled enough for that, mate. I've already tried it in Blender. Not good. Not good. Save the config. Ah, oh, I forgot to save the config. Well, I got the replay, so I can save it from there. Anyway, cheers. See you later.